Welcome to Healthy and Wealthy Wednesday. I'm Charlotte. I'm Kixia. Hello, I am JQ. And guess what? Tonight is a very, very special show. As you can see, we're in a different setting. We are actually in Kixia, beautiful penthouse in sunny South Florida, Miami to be exact. And so <laughs> tonight we are actually doing the healthy portion around some of our own cuisine. And so take a look at our menu for tonight. All right, and so you'll get a chance to make some of this, these recipes in your home and healthy kicks with it. And so we're so excited because tonight, not only are we talking about being able to have healthy menus, but also being nice during the holiday seasons instead of naughty. And so we wanna talk about how can you have a budget where you're not crying in January, right? You are keeping it healthy and wealthy from the food that you eat all the way to those gifts that you're gonna be sharing with others, right? And so ladies, we're gonna jump right into this conversation. So we know tis the season yes. for people to just swipe, 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 right? But we want our audience to know that guess what? We can enjoy our family members oh, that's right. um, on a budget, right? Yep. A budget is not a bad word. That's you know? right. And so talk a little bit, Kixia, because you know, during this time, a lot of people um, are met with the challenges of the pandemic. Oh, you know, that's right. and yes. we are all that's a big one. under, you know, um, th this Guidance. new normal. Yes. Absolutely. And so talk a little bit about some of the challenges that people may be experiencing right now during this time, but how they can prepare for the holidays. All right, so I'm so excited to talk to you about this question that JQ is presenting to us, right? I'm, I'm sure that everyone in the audience is thinking about it, you know? We're all thinking about it, we're all doing jokes about it, you know? Um, as a matter of fact, yesterday I sent a, a, a little picture to the family, uh, and there was like a SWAT team, you know, in the picture, and it was like right in front of the door saying, we know you ordered oh, yeah. a turkey <laughs> for 20 one. people. <laughs> so I kind of feel guilty, you know, I kind of feel guilty because I feel like that's me, right? Um, but yes, the challenges. Number one is, you know, okay, you know, we haven't really been working or we've been working, but we don't want to spend the money that we have, right? So one of the things I will say is, hey, look, you want to make sure that you butt yourself in on the main meal, which is the turkey, as an example, which is the next. I always talk about next event, right? There's two events coming up. Chris, I mean, three events, Christmas and New Year's too, right? right but right. the next event, which is Thanksgiving, right? Mm -hmm. So budget in, where can you buy it already made? So you're not having to like be all frustrated that day, you know, mm. if people come in earlier and you know, you want them to wear masks or you don't, but why don't you just order the turkey? You can go to Whole, you, you can go to the website Hopeful and it's a $1.99. They're not paying me for this announcement, all right? Um, <laughs> I just love to buy stuff from there. Not everything, just, you know, their deals. And they have $1.99 per pound already cooked Wow. wow. Already cooked, guys. Wow. So I did the math and I placed my order and it's going to come out to $74. And all I have to do is go pick it up. Yeah. So I believe that that, we already have so much in our minds that I believe that that's one of the things that will ease and bring you this synergy of welcoming people into your home. And then the second thing that I will say is, you know, just make sure, you know, that if you're going to have people over, Make sure you have a conversation with them and say, hey, listen, let me ask you, in the last 15 days, have you taken a test, you know? In the last 15 days, have you been feeling like you have a fever? And, you know, I love for you to be here, but the reality is that, you know, I, I just would like you to know those answers before, you know, you come over. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. then maybe you can rotate that person to the following event, maybe mm -hmm. for Christmas or maybe for New Year's. And don't feel bad because that's just, you know, reality right now. Right. And you're taking care of the people that you love and you're taking care of them as well so those two tips I think it will bring you ease of mind 
and it will bring mm-hmm. you a great energy into your home once you're celebrating the holidays. Awesome. I think that is a great, great start in this conversation because there are questions that we now have to ask people that we weren't always accustomed to asking. Yes. And, you know, safety first. I know some people, I don't know if you all have heard, but Zoom is actually allowing people to have for that day unlimited access to Zoom so that you can actually reach out to your family mm. members who may be in other states or oh. in their homes. And so the, because of the heightened, um, the rise of the COVID-19 um, cases, they're saying a lot of times people can now do it from home, but engage through yeah. the internet. And the key is not stopping the holidays, you know, like at right. the end of the day, you want to have your family over, right. you know, right. that the, our goal here is to let you know, celebrate it, you know, <laughs> go for it, you know. Um, in Jesus' name, everything is amazing, right? But take precautions. And so, just to even segue, so I think that's a great um, segue to you, you, Charlotte, in reference to, you know, what are some things that people can do during these holidays? I know that we've had the restraints of, of being at home and not necessarily being able to connect with the family like we want to. And just it's a number of reasons why people have not done that. Talk a little bit about some ways in which we can begin to um, reconnect with our families during this time? Well, you know, technology has been an amazing tool. So oh, that's yeah. definitely key point number one. I think a lot of people have been utilizing yep. um, quite well. And like you mentioned with the Zoom, the fact that, you know, you can really get it, you know, a free account on Zoom. You can pretty much have at least 30 minutes of free access. Um, FaceTime, Facebook, right? That's, mm-hmm. I mean, that's amazing because before you had to pay for that access, right? Mm-hmm. So now we electronically we can be with each other. Um, now, granted, it doesn't substitute for being I with someone, right? So let's not negate that. Yes. Let's not neglect, like, like, neglect, excuse me. Um, had a little sip of wine before. Um, <laughs> let's not neglect that fact. Um, but, you know, there's ways around it if you're creative enough, right? So yes. um, maybe you don't want to have a big soiree on Thanksgiving. Um, because of you know health reasons or what have you so maybe just having close friends and then maybe having another time where you know we're in Florida so Florida's open I know other states are not but you know at least we're able to maybe go grab coffee outside right Right. let's make accommodations for other people and say okay well let's go somewhere wear a face mask take extra precautions wash your hand have hand sanitizer right if you're older you might want to stay in if you have people in your home who are older just think about that and think about how you can protect yourself um and ultimately at the end of the day I think that, you know, COVID is not necessarily going anywhere. It's just going to figure out where we have to figure out a way to adapt, Ooh, you know, just good. like the that's flu. Good. Yeah. Right. So it's just an it's a new way of normal and we just have to be flexible with it. But we have to be smart yes. as well. Like, you know, yes. we're not going to go to like some party in the street with oh, randoms, course, right? Because yes. we don't know how they take care of themselves or whatever. But we can still be able to do what we need to do with our families in order to connect in different ways. And like Hixia was mentioning, we have three other holidays, right? Or two other, three coming up, but there's two other if you can't get them to one, right? And then there's other ways to connect that way. And, and, And ultimately, here's the thing too, we should be checking up on our friends and family throughout the year anyway, not just one time. Yep. So she is gone all on that one time. We know that you're calling you, hopefully, right? But I, but I love the concept of if you can't get together on those holidays, of being able to set another Rotation. day. Yeah. Um, you know, this is really it, it really is about adapting mm-hmm. because some so we're so programmed and it has to be this way, the food, the table, you know, the the holiday, and we're really neglecting the fact that we have been away from our families for over eight months yes. Yes. many people and we know during this time you know that can bring about sadness for yep. people mm-hmm. and so what we hope that this show will do will inspire you to think out the box yes you know, do you know your neighbors you know um in, in improvising sometimes people may have um, a, a gathering where you actually get a chance to interact with your neighbors and so you don't have to be alone for this holiday season. That's right. Right? That is right. And so as we talk about, uh, as we begin to kind of wrap up with our food segment, tell us a little bit about your most memorable uh, dining experience during the holidays. What was the, the cuisine? Oh, man. So for me, because my husband is from the islands, 
Um, and we're in South Florida. Um, I just love the fact that, um, you know, I was introduced to Sorrel, if some of you guys know what that is. Please break that down. <laughs> Sorrel is an amazing drink that comes from this awesome fruit, uh, usually found in tropical places, right? Every island makes it differently. Uh, but at the end of the day, it usually has like ginger in it, right? I think it's hibiscus, ultimate. I think it's hibiscus. Um, but everybody makes it different. And so it's just a fun thing. And um, if you know anybody who's from the islands, you know, every time you say sorrel, you always think of holidays, right? Oh, and it's either warm or cold, uh, but there's always like in somebody's house, there's always, you know, sorrel and the, you need, with the ladle and you scoop oh. it up, right? So I love that part. I, I like, you know, that's become our tradition now. That's oh, awesome. You know how to make it? Or you just know Not, how to yet. Make Not it? yet. Not <laughs> yet. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> She's taking tips. <laughs> what about you, Kim? Well, myself, you know, I mean, it's just from the beginning, you know, now that she's talking about a drink, you know, she just put me into the drink mode, yeah, right? Uh, but for us, you know, Caribbean too, right? Families from the Caribbean uh, and as well from Central America. And for us, it's Coquito. So I don't know wow. if you guys... Okay, okay yes. so for us, it's Coquito. Everywhere you go, you know... You're like the king or the queen if you show up at someone's house with a bottle of coquito, right? <laughs> so my father, since we were little, he will make his own coquito. Mm -hmm. So he will make multiple of bottles. Mm. So for me, it's that. And then when, it, when it's about a meal, you know, I'm pescatarian. So to me, is when I found out that I was able to make salmon with honey, and vegetables and soy sauce on it, I was like, oh my God, I'm in heaven. This is my turkey. <laughs> so yes, so coquito and salmon. See, and that's what I love it. This is why I love our show, you all. Like truly, like <laughs> thinking out the box. And so you don't have to like not have the things you've experienced because you don't do turkey or exactly, ham, right? Yes. Like it can be what you choose. Like even the art cuisine for tonight, we have salmon, Yes. We have a rainbow slaw and we have a potato souffle. And so cre make it creatively yours, make it creatively unique. And I, I love like, you know, Charlotte saying that their family is doing, you know, this annual um, drink that now she's working on creating, right? <laughs> and Kix is, is doing her own little turkey via salmon, right? For my family, we're more traditional. We have, um, you know, my, my grandmother's still living and she's 92 years old. And so she's wow. expecting like the big, big spread. <laughs> and, but listen. So you have, you guys are taking a lot of precautions in your home then. We have not had like overall family in eight months in the home. Wow. wow. So just to make sure that yes. she is, is cared yes. for. Yes. And so for us, we're going to be doing the Zoom with my brother. He and my um, niece and nephew are in Vegas. Okay. Um, they live in, in Nevada. So for us, we will have to do the Zoom. Um, Christmas, they're going to be coming, but for Thanksgiving, we're, we're going to be good. doing that. That's good. But for our traditional meals, it's like a two to three day cooking experience. Oh, you yes. Know? And so I'm looking forward to getting away from that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> from actually purchasing, you know, like you like you may mention of. Yes. And I know a lot of people do the honey baked ham and things of that nature. Yes. So I don't even know how they're going to do that because I know they normally have the minds for that. Oh, wow. But here's the thing. If you're going to get anything out of this show tonight, it is about giving yourself permission to rewrite yes. whatever that tradition is going to be for yes. you and your family. Yes. Most importantly, it's about being together. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. And yeah. so as we've been talking about, you know, staying connected with your family, being innovative in how you do that. And so I, I want to go back to our conversation about the spending because we know yes. what's that day <laughs> after Thanksgiving? Black Friday. Yes. Yes. Listen. We want your budget to remain in the black, right? Yes. No more not in the red. Not yes. in the red. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> and so we have some tips for you for that because really, they were talking about the spending for Americans during this time is about a trillion dollars. Yes. You know? And when you think about, you know, um, where people are financially now, the number of people who've lost their jobs and things of that nature. Yeah, no. So think about those, you know, our viewing audience who has more than one child and you're paying for this holiday season and, you know, it's still a lot of uncertainty. What are some things that they can do group-wise as far as their purchases for the children 
where they're not having to buy big ticket items for each child? Well, that's a good question because I know all the parents are thinking about, ooh, PS5 just came mm -hmm. out. How are we going to afford that, about. right? Mm -hmm. And look, me, I'm, I'm more inclined, and, and I taught uh, middle school for the last five years, okay? So I see some of the good kids and some of the naughty ones, all right? And um, for me, I'm more inclined to think more about how can I give back, right? So now let me not speak from a parent's perspective. So let me say that one, okay? Um, so I can't speak as if I was a parent, but some suggestions I may have um, if I may, uh, think about how you can serve your community and how you and your family can go out and, you know, provide maybe blankets outside to people who need it, who are sleeping on the streets and don't have anywhere to go. Um, you know, this might be the time to really think about that because, you know, unfortunately death is on a rise. So hopefully we're thinking about the fact that there yeah. is mortality mm -hmm. and that, um, this is not it, right? This is not the be all end all what we're in right now. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, we can all take a deeper look at what really matters yes. and that material things don't because you, you, know, you guys know, and I remember growing up and especially kids that I bought, you know, gifts for nieces and nephews, all that you buy them a gift in December and they're not playing with that. They're playing with the rappers. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, ultimately we got to really think about it. Now, if, if you, you know, you might have a good kid and you really want to buy them that item, fine, budget for it. Make sure if you can, oh, here's a, here's a tip, right? If you can buy it twice or even three times, then you can afford it. Yes. Okay. That's a rule of thumb. So if, if you are buying something for your child that is about to break your bank, break your credit, break your bank account, your savings, your retirement and all that, mm, I don't know, unless he's a genius and, and going to be a doctor and take yeah. care of you for the rest of your life. May not necessarily be a gamble, I would say. Mm -hmm. But hey, up to you. These are just some suggestions for you guys. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have any other. <laughs> so kids, so with all the children, right, Charlotte? Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, we we try, we try. No. So kids, when, okay. you, when you think about people being wiser with their money because of all of the uncertainty. Yes. What are some things that they can do for the holidays that? can include the entire family and still not break the bank. Okay, so we're looking at 60 days from that day. Um, and I'm rounding that up, okay? Because it, today is the 18, then, you know, it's gonna be, no, we're looking at, not even, because yeah. it's November. So we're looking at 30 days from that day. Mm -hmm. So if you think about it, if you go to my phone, my big tip that I will give you is, you will find offer up, right? Mm. So. Go ahead and play a game this weekend with your kids and say the following. All right, let's go ahead and go over all of the toys that you guys have that we can put and create your own I page on nice. offer up. So it. that way we can collect as mm. much money that we can from assets that are sitting down and you no longer want it. Just like Charlotte said it, you know, it's overrated already. Maybe they have the PS last one that came out, so they don't want it anymore, <laughs> right? But guys... There's always another child that will want, not even the last one, not the last one of the last one, but the very first one that came out. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to profit from there. So my biggest tip is that go into your closet, go into every room in your house, and look for all of those toys that can bless other kids. I and you it. can go ahead and bless other parents that maybe might not be able to buy their kids the newest things but might be able to give them something that it will warm their hearts and then in exchange your kids will be able to get the newest things as well when i tell you i love that i, I because it's the it's the overall picture of really what this show is about yeah. you know when you when you're when you're healthy and you're wealthy and you're making wiser choices it can be this generational experience for your entire family and so the fact that your children are giving back to another child, which yes. Charlotte spoke on as well, um, and them learning about the value of money, the, the value mm -hmm. of money, entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. um, being able to invest yes. themselves, and then seeing what they're able to do because they did. Yes. So yes. listen, we can we can close shop right there, right? <laughs> this is really. Um, we're so excited for the for those who've been viewing and watching our show, and, and we want to continue to bring new content. 
that gets you to think, think outside of the box. As a matter of fact, there is no box. When you really get into your creative place, when you really make a conscious decision to yes. be healthy and wealthy, it is a game changer. And so for this holiday season, ladies, I want to just close out okay. with you all sharing, you know, um, your well wishes to people as, as we are definitely in transition period. What, what would be your, your well wish for people for the holiday season? Well, for me, um, here's, here's, here's a person that's going to talk to you guys. I have a huge family, and one of the greatest things that I have learned is, hey, listen, never leave anyone out. Everyone's already feeling out. The media, uh, social media, news, everyone's already leaving them out and making them feel that they shouldn't reach out to their family members, that they shouldn't go visit their family members. And I'll, let, I'll give you guys a tip. Look, if... In this building where we're sitting right now, they have a place that is 4,000 square feet big, right? And by CDC guidelines, they are able to get up to 50 people together in a 4,000 square feet place, okay? So do the math. So think about your home. Think about how big is your house. If a place, because they're gonna be collecting money for me to rent it and I'm able to get here 50 family members for any of the three holidays that are coming up. So then that gives you the answer on how many people you can have in your home, okay? So keep that in mind, right? Now, second thing, keep in mind, don't be afraid of asking him, hey, have you, have you taken a test in the last 15 days? That's it, that's the question. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm asking is because if you came out positive, then you know what, you're still in quarantine and we're gonna go ahead and give you the link of Zoom so you can be one of those family members that are, is gonna be through the Zoom. And then you better make sure that you take care of yourself so we can have you in the next, the next holiday, time. right? Yeah. And you rotate that, but bring the spirit. Be yourself, whether it be because you're giving them the link of Zoom or whether it be because you're bringing them into your home and just go out there, give love, and just be that light of, you know, that, that flame for your family of love because they beautiful. need it. Beautiful, awesome. beautiful. Awesome. All right, Miss Charlotte. <laughs> well, you know, I think we're getting to the end of the year and, you know, this is always like a season of festivities and holidays and I'm actually very pleased to see that people are still getting in the spirit so you know it's not like people have been, been like ah oh, Thanksgiving is canceled because you know it's 2020 anything could happen yes. um, but you know for me it's you know this is also a time and it probably is more exacerbated now of and I think we mentioned that before where it's the more depressing part of the year for a lot of families right um, so we need to encourage one another and like Hixi was saying, making sure everybody feels welcome, making sure that everybody's a part of it. And even though you may not be able to connect with all of your family, making sure they have someone to connect to. So maybe they're in a different state and they can't come for whatever reason, then they can, um, or you can call the other relatives or something. Maybe you can facilitate something so that person isn't left out, yes. right? And finding a healthy way for them to be able to connect that way. But the biggest thing I would say is that there's hope um, and that we should not be panicking yeah. um, right now because even though things look a certain way and turn off the news, <laughs> First and and enjoy your family. <laughs> right. And take your couch. Right. right. And, and tomorrow's another day. You yes. know, like I think that, you know, we get into this whole doomsday and the world is going to end. And well, what if it doesn't? So then what do you do? You know, yes, be prepared in case the world ends tomorrow, you know, <laughs> you know, because you don't know. You never know. Nobody's promised tomorrow. But don't live life like in, in fear. You know, and that's a that's a terrible way to live. Yes. So at least for the holidays, you know, at least you get some time off from your nine to five. Um, some of you guys who um, still are having to clock in and clock out, I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying it is reality. But at least you get some days off, right? And this is the time. And enjoy it, right? So enjoy whatever you have. Be thankful for whatever you have. It could be worse, right? Be thankful for the family members that you have. But I think that's that's the biggest thing for me is that we Love still it. have hope. We still yes. have tomorrow. Yes. And that is a You're still a Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's truly the reason for the season. That's right. That is right. <laughs> what a great way to end the show because Jesus truly is the reason for that the season. That is right. And so we want to definitely invite you to continue to tune in to Healthy and Wealth. We have some great shows coming up. 
We want to make sure that we're hearing from you. We want to be able to actually do some topics that are of interest to you. Yes. And so put in questions. You're going to be able to, at the end of the show, get a chance to see how to get in touch with us and maybe even be a guest. And so yes. guess what? We have our first special Ooh, guest. Yay. Yay. Like, well, cheers to that. Yes. yes. And oh, so I'm hey. going to turn it over now to Miss Patricia Osborne. She is actually in Detroit, Michigan, but she Ooh. lived in Korea for several years, and she's going to actually do a traditional meal um, for the holidays that is from Korea. And so, Patricia, take it away. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining. My name is Patricia Osborne, and I am your special guest for today. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope that something that we share will bless you and will encourage you to make change in the life of yourself as well as in the life of your family. So I'm going to hop right into it. I just want to give special thanks to JQ. And JQ is my coach, as well as Charlotte and Kixia. Thank you, Charlotte, and thank you, Kixia, for allowing me to come on and to be able to share to the community of Healthy Wealthy. All right? So, JQ asked me to come on and share, so you're probably looking like, well, what is it that she's wearing? What exactly does she have on? So, I have on what is called a hanbok. And a hanbok is a traditional Korean garment that is normally worn when there's a birthday party, there's a funeral, or there is a wedding. So normally you would wear the hanbok when someone passes away, all right? And it's traditionally black, so everyone in the family will wear one of these. You will wear this when your baby turns one or the first 50 days, your baby will really well wear one. And you will wear this when your baby turns one, which is the, the I, sh I should say, I'm sorry, the first 100 days, which is typically the baby's birthday party. So I lived overseas in South Korea for almost 12 years, and I had the opportunity of wearing a hanbok officially when my baby was his first birthday party. I really did it really nice, and I did it Korean style, and it's called the doljanchi. So doljanchi means it's the baby's first birthday party, and I did it also for my baby's, my second son. I did it for his 50 days. So he was alive in the earth for 50 days, and he was garbed out with Korean garments. All right, so I'm going to hop right into it, and I was asked to present a dessert segment. So here I have for you traditional Korean dessert and I really don't have favorites but this is one of the desserts that I really really love and it's called hotdog it sounds like hot dog but it's not hot dog it's hotdog all right and what it basically is it is a Korean pancake and inside you have brown sugar cinnamon as well as walnuts I put black walnuts which I didn't mean to put black walnuts but I put black walnuts and you just and yeast yeast, water, salt, and you just mix everything together before you fry it in vegetable oil or your oil of choice. You just put the mixture in, you mix it all around, you take a spatula, and you just smash it down like a pancake. So I have two variations. I have one that's with sugar and nuts, and the second one I have, which I did with vegan mozzarella cheese, and it's so yummy. It is healthy. It's really good for you. All right, so before I end, I just wanted to come on and I wanted to share a my final tip. So my final tip for the people that are viewing, the people that are going to replay, and thank you so much for those people that are going to replay, is I heard something on the news today that was really, really intriguing. And the newscaster said that one-fourth of the American public will cut off their spending this holiday season one-fourth. That's quite a bit of people that's not going to be haphazardly spending for the holidays, right? So if the analysts are telling us that one-fourth of the American public is not going to be spending a lot of money this year on Christmas gifts, then what does that tell us as a consumer? That we need to buckle down and we need to strategize and come up with a way that we can save money. How can we save money? Going over your financial records, making sure that, that the things that you have, you 
you really may not need or you may need. Looking to see if those beneficiaries on those insurance policies are up to date. Okay, so those are just a few things that you can make sure that you can do. Cutting out some of the things that you don't need. If you're not going to the gym, if you know that they're going to have another shutdown soon and you want to cancel your gym membership, I encourage you to do it now, right? There are so many different things that we can be doing to save money. Instead of spending so much, just like how I made a dish, guess what? Honk the horn, pull up in front of somebody's driveway and say, you know what? This year, instead of giving you a gift, I'm giving you a gift of food. And you have that conversation with your mask on, all right, from across the street. You know, you can drop it on the porch, and that is your gift. Just take a challenge. Step out of your comfort zone and do something that's different as opposed to just giving a traditional gift. All right? My name is Patricia Osborne, and I thank you for viewing and watching. God bless you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Wow, Patricia, that was phenomenal. And even down to your custom outfit that you had flown in from <laughs> Korea. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. And so as we wrap up the show, I am one of your hosts, JQ. I am Kixia. You can call me Kix. <laughs> I'm Charlotte. And we are showing you how to be healthy, healthy and wealthy. wealthy.